You can find some of America's most picturesque town squares in the state of Tennessee. Many offer shopping, entertainment, and unique independently owned dining destinations. Well, as Ken Wilshire discovered, you can even find a taste of Tuscany at the historic town square in Winchester. When restaurateur Blake Burleson and chef Sandy Ansley were forced to make a decision as to either move their very successful restaurant business on First Street in downtown Winchester or call it quits, quitting was not an option. And the community strongly agreed. It wanted Arezzo's Italian restaurant to not only stay open, but to remain here on the town square. It was a hard decision because, I mean, we really had to step back. The situation was uh, kind of put us against the wall and uh, just almost put us out of business. So we had to sit back and think about it. And we talked about it a while. We just really loved the town and the people. So we decided to come over here. Actually, they only moved one block away to a 100-year-old building that's owned by Sandy and her husband. To be part of rebuilding a square and bringing it back to its luster from a hundred years ago and see people coming back downtown, it's, it's a nice feeling. Coming to the square and being part of the history and also bringing new things to the town, it's, it's a nice combination. The previous building was really pretty. This one is even more unique with the outdoor area. They have so many choices. They can sit and have casual dining. They can have better dining and soon fine dining. It all started when Blake, who's originally from Murfreesboro, caught the culinary bug while working his way through college via some quite successful eateries. But even though he knew the challenges of opening a restaurant, he did not anticipate a decline in the economy. We went in at the, the worst possible time and still made it happen. A, a new restaurant during that economy just to even maintain, uh, just to break even is something in itself. And we just, I really think that's just some, the support of the local people that live around here. It's just been, been great. And we like what we're doing. We're happy. And that's, uh, I think that's a big deal. We try to keep the stress down, which is almost impossible in the restaurant. And I think we do a fairly good job and we just, we enjoy what we do, and I think that makes a difference. We call it cooking with love, and we work with love, and so we just, we try to enjoy it. When you enjoy it, it just comes out a little better. This, this is actually my family's recipe. Sandy has over 30 years serving, managing, and operating popular restaurants, mainly in Nashville. Now Arezzo's customers experience her passion for what she prepares. Northern Italian, it's heavy with cream, vegetables and flavor, the flavor of the garlic. It's just, it's different for Winchester for sure. <laughs> of course, the food you'll find in Italy is about as diverse as its geography and dialects. And their foods with lots of pasta, tomato, olive oil, and garlic are quite healthy in all their simplicity, just like here at Arezzo's. We try to avoid every possible thing with high fructose corn syrup, uh, no MSG, we only use real cream, we only use real butter, and a lot of people don't realize that just how healthy, I know Italian sounds unhealthy, but the way that we do it, we use all natural ingredients that the body can uh, just go through easily, and it makes a big difference. We have quite an extensive menu, it's just prepared with a lot of love and the love that surrounded. I mean, the servers were all like family. So it really, it makes a difference. But it's more than simply providing a fine dining experience for its customers. It's about keeping the spirit and tradition of a town square alive. And just like Arezzo, Italy, the town square or Piazza Grande is the center of commerce, government and cultural gatherings, especially dining and entertainment. It's important to be a part of the small town and the total growth. We're tr really trying to get Winchester to grow because they've spent all the money redoing the facades, making it pretty, but now we've got to keep business here and keep the local people here. 
So it's all, it all comes together. It really does. While you'll find that most of the warm, friendly, customer-oriented staff from the old location has returned to carry on its new spirit, there may be another, more spirited sous chef who came along with the building. Her name is Emily. She's a good spirit, though, very good spirit. I know there was one time I had croissants in the oven, and then I was out in the front of the house messing around, and about 30 minutes later, I said, oh, no. <laughs> and I went running into the kitchen, and the croissants were not in the oven. They were on top of the stove, perfectly browned. So, Emily's a good spirit. Italian chocolate chip cannoli. And if the wonderful foods, desserts, wines, and service aren't enough to stimulate conversation, try pronouncing its name. Arezzos. 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 But the proper pronunciation is... It's Arezzos. No matter what you call it, it's certainly a taste of the Tuscany region of Italy where dining is more than savoring the wonderful foods, but about experiencing its culture and heritage, just like they do at Arezzo's on the square in Winchester.